authority that has fallen in here tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say here with the power of the Holy Ghost, they will not escape. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will not escape. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's take one more Bible verse and they will, and they will open fire. Thank you, Jesus. Is somebody ready for freedom? Judges chapter 6, verse 11 to 17. Okay, okay. If you cannot thank God for what you have received, you thank him for what you have received. Judges, quickly. If you don't know where Judges is, go to the book of Revelation, Revelation will reveal to you. I'm also struggling to find it. Amen. Um, book of Judges 6. And the angel, 6 verse 11. And there came an angel which was in the prayer, and part, that pertained unto Joash the Abyssalite, and he sunk it your dress with by the one place to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of God. And he just said unto him, O my God, the Lord be with me, why then is all this before the us, and we be all his miracles with our fathers to us. If the Lord is with me, why am I going through this kind of problem? I can hear somebody asking this question here. If the Lord is with me, why am I going through this kind of problem? I can hear some voices here asking this kind of question. But tonight it shall be proved that the Lord is with you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. That the Lord is with you. Hmm. Verse 25, and he said, and it came to pass the same night. Say that same night. And the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock at seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father hath, and cut down the growth that is by it. Gideon was about to defeat the Midianite, but between him and victory is an altar. You know what I'm saying? Gideon was a mighty man of valley, but he was special weak. Between him and his destiny, was an altar. Between him and the fulfilling of his glorious life was an altar. He could not confront the, the, the Midianites without destroying for the altar in his father's house. He was a mighty man of father, but he was special from. He was special weak. The altar reduced him to something different. Tonight we are praying. I'm not preaching. Tonight we are confronting altar. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says he was stretching the wheat so that he can hide it away from the enemy. And this time of happiness comes. The Bible says that the million has come to destroy their increase. The million has come to destroy their increase. The enemy come to destroy their increase. Where was the enemy when they were suffering? Where was the enemy when they were the enemy is not interested in your planting, the enemy is interested in your harvest. The Bible said, the to destroy the increase. It brought frustration in the life of the people of Israel. But Gideon was chosen to destroy it. I'm talking to a video here. You have been chosen to destroy the altars of your father's house. You have been chosen to destroy what has troubled your siblings in the name of Jesus Christ. We was an altar of frustration. In the name of Jesus. Say, my Lord and my God. Say, can I call you a few quickly? Say, my Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. Every altar of frustration. My Lord and my God. Every altar of frustration. Frustrating my destiny. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Say, my Lord and my God, my Lord and my God, every altar of frustration, frustrating my destiny, in the name of Jesus, cast for the now, 
You shall hear a voice that will speak to your ear. You rise your ear, that my turn. You are not there to be a failure. You are too anointed to be sick. You are too anointed to run away from the devil. Today there is an anointed to fall in this house. In the mighty devil Jesus. Where a tiger ran away from? Jehu ran to him. The friend is anointed. Tonight, if you find an altar against you, if you find that things are not working, that the enemy is against you, I'm anointed to this one tonight. I want you, in the next five minutes, I want you to step out of here, step in front of here. Because power is about to move. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. power is about to move. Power is about to move. Power is about to move. Fire is about to ask. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My power. Somebody shall power. Power. Somebody shall power. Somebody shall power. He doesn't say we are the miracles. There was scarcity of miracles. Every life you want to live only exists in your head. Why? The kind of money you want to have is only in your head. The kind of car you want to drive only exists in your head. The kind of house you want to leave only exists in your head. This is an error in the name of Jesus. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, the Bible said, He said, I have seen an error, an evil under the sun. He said, I have seen slaves walk on foot. And I have seen the and I have seen kings walking on foot. And I have seen slaves who walk on the horses. This is an extent of destiny. It's an error. The Bible says it is an error that proceeded from the king. The error was not ordinary. There was an authority that projected this error. That authority we are confronting tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every altar against you. I manifest there. By the strength of the Holy Ghost. I manifest you there. Be it in Africa. Be it in Caribbean, I manifest there. And I demand your freedom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your hands to everybody. This is a Lift up your hands to In the name of Jesus. Take your ushers, ushers. Ushers be here, ushers be around quickly. Where are the ushers? Where are the ushers? Somebody is about to be sent right now. Where are the ushers? Take your hands to the Where are the ushers? What are the ushers? What are the ushers? Pastor Sandra, Pastor Sandra. What are the ushers? Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. God said, I will pray. Woman of God, God said, I will pray the hands of Pharaoh. I will pray the hands of Pharaoh. He said, even the broken one, I will pray it again. And God said that he shall not be able to carry the sword anymore. God will paralyze the ability of the enemy to attack you. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said that the sword shall fall from the hands of Pharaoh. And I will put my sword in the hands of the king of Babylon. Sword is about to be in the hands of the king of Babylon. Jesus Christ, if I be a servant of the living God, let the difference take place now. In the name of Jesus Christ, take it to the front. Take it to the front. Right now, move your hand. Move your hand. Pray now. Break! Come on, break now! Break! Break now! Break! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Come here, bring that forward! Bring that forward! Come here, come forward! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Out of this body, you power spirit! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Out! 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 Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Out of this body right now, you foul spirit. Out! Your foul spirit with the pit of hell. Yes, Lord, out! Out, out now, out! Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, out! Power of the Holy Ghost, out! Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Somebody shall fire! Fire! Somebody shall fire! Fire! Out, out! Out! You foul spirit, out! Out! I bring that power for the Father's out. Out! 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 out. You, you, you power spirit out! 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 Out!
out, 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 in the name of Jesus. My time is up. Out. See, my time is up. I can deal with this things. Lift up your hands to us and quickly. Power of God. Jesus Christ. I come under the anointing of you. Are you hearing me? Lift up your hands to heaven. As I lay my hands upon life for you now, this is a new destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, every shackle of bondage of affliction I command it to be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, take it. Power of God move in this life. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, power take over. In Jesus' mighty name, quickly, 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 two minutes, two minutes, let me go. Is it you? Is that the prayer? Lift up your hands for several. Power of God, move in this body, move in this life. Move in this life, whatever is hidden, whatever is not of God, every altar against this life, I destroy it by fire. I destroy it by fire. Give me your hands. I manifest in your house. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I command those altars to go. Every demonic policy against them, I challenge them to let my fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, lose her, let her go. Come on. Lose her, let her go. Lose her, let her go. Lose her, let her go. Fire all over her. Fire all over her. Lose her, let her go. Come on, lose her. Lose her, destiny, lose her glory, lose her, lose her glory. In the name of Jesus. Are you for prayer? My time is up. Power of the living God. Come on, somebody. Lose her, let her go. Quickly. Out from this body, you foul spirit. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I'm free. I'm free. Somebody shout, I'm free. I'm free. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Oh, you. You need prayer. What do you want the Lord to do? Quickly, quickly, lift up your hands to heaven. In the count of three, you are free from this diabetes. Let the arrow of sickness go back to sender. Let the arrow of sickness backfire by fire. Ouch! Ouch! Be 
free. In Jesus' name. Let's have another. 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 Put your hand together. Jesus. Walk in the light of your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, people of God. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Are you excited of what God has done today? If you are excited, stand up, jump up, and shout God's presence. If you're not here tonight, I don't know where else you would have been. God is so marvelous and he's so mighty. In all that God does, there is nothing to, to be compared to him. We worship and adore him. We honor his supremacy. We are going to experience something different. I don't know. I've not seen it before, but it's going to happen tonight. The lady I'm calling upon now She's gonna blow. What is it called? Again? The, the what? The chauffeur. The chauffeur. So just let let's experience the beauty of God in another dimension. Please give her a round of applause. Stand the fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Wow. Feedback. Before I go into the chauffeur, I'm going to talk about God's sound. There's something about his voice. There's something about his sound that breaks the act of it, penetrate the eminence camp. A sound that breaks off the change of the captivities in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 29, verse 3 to 4. The voice of the Lord is over the water. The God of glory thunder. The God is over many waters. The force of God of the Lord is powerful. The force of the Lord is full and matchless in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't know what the chauffeur sound does in the spiritual realm. What if it means in the spiritual realm? It, it may look like a chauffeur, but we don't know the value and understanding of what it can do. Um, can someone change the mic? It sounds a bit... When the chauffeur is when the chauffeur is blown, it brings a difference to the atmosphere, and the heavens open up. When the chauffeur is blown, it's sending sound frequency in the spiritual realm. The chauffeur is sending shockwaves to the atmosphere, open up portals, open up the atmosphere, and shifting the atmosphere to change. There's something about the sound that shifts the atmosphere. There's something about the sound that breaks down every hidden wall. There's something about the sound that brings revelation. The chauffeur is used to break down the walls and bring victory. It's not just breaking down the natural wall, it's breaking down the spiritual wall. Joshua 6 verse 20, so the people shout when the priest blew the, chauffeur, the trumpet and it happened when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people shout with a great shout that the wall fell down. Then the people went up in the city, every man straight before him and they took the city by force. Hallelujah. Amen. The chauffeur is used to praise God. Psalms 150, verse 3. Praising with the sound of the trumpet, praising with the lute and the harp. The chauffeur is used to fight on our behalf. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 20. Wherever you hear the sound of the trumpet rally to us there, our God will fight for us. Exodus 14, verse 40. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. The shovel will bring confusion to the enemy's camp, giggling his army confused and scatter the enemy with the shofar. Judge 7 um, verse 19. So giggling and the hundred of men who were with him came to the outposts of the camp 
at the beginning of the middle watch, just as they had posed the watch, and they blew the trumpet, broke the pitch, that they were there in their hands. Then the three campers blew the trumpet and broke the pitch, and they held the torch in their left hand, and the trumpet in their right hand blowing, and they cried, the sword of the Lord of giggling. Hallelujah. I'm going to give a word, because uh, the Lord gave me a word before I came here about for the church. I don't know who this word for. Joe chapter 2, verse 25. So I restore you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the true locust, my great army which I send it. The Lord is saying he will storm back the years. Every locust that's in your life, the consuming fire will consume it. Because it's not by his might, it's not by his power.